Hello and welcome to another technology tutorial with the Tech Rabbi. Today we're going to be talking about a really amazing organization and project management app called Productive. Take a note at the top URL that they have a very creative way of spelling out this website, this company. So Productive is web-based. I'm currently on a MacBook using a browser and it's also uh, compatible with an app on both Android and iOS devices. And one of the really amazing things about this uh, platform versus some of the other platforms is that it really gives you a nice visual layout of the different types of tasks and projects that you have to accomplish. And I'm going to show you a little bit today about how to set up the, the basic experience of using this app so you can get comfortable with it and begin to use it on a regular basis. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a task and this can be done in two different ways. I also want to make note that this video is meant to be paused and to have the processes that I am introducing be done by you as the user and then you can come back to the video and you can continue to play and that is going to really give you the ability to become an independent user of technology. So we can hit the plus sign here or we can simply type out what our initial task is going to be. So this is going to be productive 101 session. 101 being the basic introduction. And we're then able to press enter and sure enough we have our titled project that is newly created and we are now able to organize this in various ways. So one of the things I love about various organization and productivity applications is labels. Labels is something that the Apple system has adopted, it's something that Gmail has adopted, Evernote, and a lot of really powerful apps and what you're able to do is you're able to add labels that are going to let you search through not just your current projects but to better understand what you've accomplished. And I think that that's really important. A lot of the times in product management and organization we accomplish things and we finish them, we check them off and then we're done. And this gives us the ability to reflect back and to figure out what we did to be successful in past experiences and past projects. So I would label this as introduction, pressing enter to uh, initiate that label. I would do also something maybe like beginner, and I would also consider doing something like project 2015. And the, way, the reason for this is, or maybe I would just do 2015, which is the year that this video was created, so that you are able to search based on the year, and maybe we can also do the month as well. And all of these things are now going to be tagged, so that when I search through my tasks, as I begin to really populate this application with a significant amount of information, I'm going to be able to search through this. So we can see that the creator of this, which happens to be me, is located here. And this is under my private projects. You can invite people to this application, as we will discuss later. You can add different types of sections so that you could have your own personal tasks and then have a common area where group tasks could be introduced. So when you hover over this, you're able to do a few things. One is you're able to select a project, which could be something that's already been created, which you can see reflect my projects right here. And you also see when you hover over it that it says schedule it. And that's really important because what you want to do is you want to set a due date for this project. And since this is a 101 introduction, I'm going to give myself a couple days to get familiar with how this is going to be part of my regular activity of staying organized and using it for project management. You can set an alert, just like you might be familiar with Google Calendar, Outlook, or any other calendar and email management system. So I'm going to say that an hour before Friday, um, I'm going to work on uh, making sure that this is done which when you think about it doesn't actually make sense but when you're really personalizing this you will set up a 
way to schedule and remind yourself that makes sense. I'm at uh, Pacific time, uh, not yet in Hawaii, but hopefully I'll get there soon. And there's an option to repeat. A lot of the times we have tasks that are very important and they need to be repeated on a regular basis. So we want to make sure that we are aware of that, but in this case I don't need to repeat that. And I'm going to save it. And that's really important because when I switch views, as you can see at the top over here, I'm just going to make my pointer bigger so you know where I'm at, we have the list view and we also have calendar view, which is going to set up the varying projects in a different visual that sometimes works for people in a month, in a week, and in a day. So now that you see how the creation of an event works, we can then take a look at the tabs up here. Nothing's due today, nothing's late, and nothing is complete. You can sort this by different types of uh, fields, and you can see that there is an option for all. You can also star important objects, uh, or important tasks, if you have 30 or 40 different tasks over a month and you have certain ones that even though it's not due till the very end of the month you want to have that fresh on your mind so that you can continue to check back in that's a great way to uh, make sure that this is prioritized so this could be a very high item because if I don't learn how to use productive then I'm not going to be productive now once we have completed the task there is a checkbox it scratches it off and you're now ready to move on to the next task. If you decide this project is not yet finished, you can reopen the task. Notice how it doesn't hide the task when it's been scratched off. It doesn't disappear. And you're able to click this arrow to also get a couple different types of information. So our labels are now here as we've populated them. We have our different projects which we can add. You can add the name of the project. You can then give access to people only specific people, it's open and visible to everybody that's in your default network, there's some advanced session uh, settings and owners as well, and you can really go to town with the different types of tasks that you need to uh, complete. Now, if you need to add people to your network, individuals that are going to support you on various projects, and when we say projects, it's not a task. So if you have a project that you're going to have an event for a holiday or something that's related to your company, you have an event. So that event is going to, to contain various tasks. So you can use the tasks as an individual event. I need to go to the grocery store. Or you can use the tasks to then build out and populate a more complex project by adding the project, as I said earlier. Now, adding people is very simple. You can invite people via email. You can set them up as a member or an admin of the different types of networks that you are uh, involved in, that you've created. And you have pending invitations, so you can check in if people have not yet checked, and you can reach out to them. You're able to also create new networks. And at, the, at this point, um, in my experience with Productive, it seems to be uh, just about 100% free. I've not yet, uh, in my experience, been blocked by anything that, that requires some sort of premium subscription. You're able to set up your settings and get help and various things like this. Now, if you want to go pro, there are some more back-end and, and I would say more complex um, options as you can see when you click on uh, the GoPro option what you're really gonna see and this is a pretty serious premium is you're gonna get premium support now if uh, I have not I have not seen this application to be complex enough that I'm stuck and unable to uh, resolve the issues on my own um, I happen to be uh, the tech rabbi which um, hopefully indicates that I am fairly tech savvy but I think in general, the user interface is very clean and very simple. There is an Outlook plugin if you are considering um, uh, using Outlook as a, an email solution. And there also is network customization. I think at the end of the day, though, to pay $99 a month to have a very beautiful looking uh, back end design um, is, is not necessarily going to be something that I would invest in. Now, one of the challenges that will be is that you do not have unlimited users. So there is a cap. Uh, I'm not yet sure um, what the cap is, but I believe that you can at least have 20 users 
in your productive environment without having uh, any issue. You have uh, over here notifications. Um, you have the ability to see activity of what has happened over the past couple days. And you also have the ability to export, which is to download this to a CSV, Excel, or Google Sheets. Um, there's the, the apps. So as we said before, iPhone app, Android, iPad, and Mac. The Outlook app is premium. It's something that I'm not interested in, but if you're still using Outlook, it's something that you're able to, to have. Now, if I wanted to search via my tasks, my, 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 my uh, or I'm sorry, via tags, so you need to be careful because no tasks were filtered all matching this search. So what does that mean? If I search 101, it comes up with this because that's in the name of the title. But if you, if you, if you, if, if you notice that you're, you're not able to find things, you need to be aware of where to search for them. So if you want to search for various labels, so 2015, there's that label. So the searching is, search, is searchable, but there are some very specific uh, parameters. Now, when, when you go, and let me just go back here, when you click on here, and I'm going to make a second, I'm going to make a second task here, which is productive... 101 label system, okay? Because I really want to understand how the labels work, okay? So I'm going to add a label, and my label is going to be introduction, and it's going to be beginner. And notice how they're auto-populating for me, 2015. Notice that I didn't put in, in this case, December. I just want to show you how it works when you're searching various things. So I can schedule it again, and well, I can schedule it uh, again, and I can decide that really for labels, I'm going to give myself till next Monday. It's not an all-day event. It's something that needs to be finished by 8 o'clock, and I need a reminder two hours before to make sure that I've hit the mark on getting this done. This is a medium level, and so now when I go onto my, ta onto my labels, you're going to see that there are different types of um, population of the tasks. Now, you can add labels here, and you can change their colors by clicking on that plus sign next to labels. You can pre-label your items, and then you can add labels as you go. Uh, as I said before, you can add a project. And that really sums up this productive interface. Um, I've looked and used uh, a, a, a pretty good amount of different platforms for product management, and I've yet to find one that works on various devices in such a clean and simple way. I think a lot of the times there are, are platforms and solutions that, that overwhelm you with features, and in the end, you aren't really able to use them. I think that at the end of the day, you need to create a project this project has varying tasks. You need to set up and prioritize them based on urgency and set a, 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 a deadline for them and involve the people who need to be involved and make sure that they're completed. And if they're not completed, then what is it that you're going to do to ensure that they are completed? So this sums up this, pro this productive platform 101 video. I hope that it was something that was helpful. And just to remind you again that this video can be watched multiple times to really familiarize yourself with just how effective this type of solution can be to make sure that your projects and tasks are organized so that you can be effective and successful. Thanks for watching.